Gabe Reynolds, Sun Radio. We are backstage, weekend one of the Austin City Limits Music Festival. We are now joined by Primo the Alien. I've landed. The Alien has landed. I'm here. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Now, you were here last year, yeah. and you were, you were supposed to make uh, your ACL debut. Mm -hmm. Weather prevented that. It did. But it did not prevent it today. It didn't. Um, I was the weather today. Yes. Okay. <laughs> how, how did it feel making your ACL? Oh my god, today? it felt great. Um, the cheers, so loud. Yes. The audience, so enthusiastic. They were in it. You know, um, it was great. You know, I, I I anticipated maybe more, of of maybe more people coming just to get out of the heat or right. get in the shade. I anticipated people kind of coming and going, but it was like a party in there. Yes. Everyone was invested. Everyone was jumping. Everyone was singing. It was a blast. Every show is special to me. Right. I treat every show like a big deal, but um, this was a really special moment for sure. I can imagine. Yeah. And, and I was trying to catch as much as I could early on, right. and I, I came over and caught like uh, three or four songs. You're welcome. Uh, it was it was fantastic. You're very Thank welcome. You. Yeah. And uh, but no, the <laughs> atmosphere in the Tito's tent was great. <laughs> good. And I, I walked yeah. in. I'm like, this is. I mean, a lot of people all having a good time. It was yeah. A party. For an early show, I right? think. I, I think I. Killed it. There was so much energy. It was yeah. beautiful for that early. It was all coming from my mom. My mom was there. She was emanating. Oh, was she? So was she? She was so excited. She was like, Whoa! for every song. Yeah. Is she? Does she come out to a lot of shows? She does. She it, comes it, to a lot of shows. So she's not she even local, there? but she drives oh, she's in. Not. Yeah. So she's, how far she got to drive? About five hours. Yeah. That is. But for Texas, Texas driving, that's well, like that's going true. down the road. You that's know? true. That's hundred percent <laughs> true. But no, that's amazing. Now is she somebody who's going to be right there up front and? dancing and bopping along she doesn't she she gets a perfect distance the distance you want you know okay. it's like not at the front where your neck has to crane up to look but it's close enough you're where you can see every bead of sweat right you know every every sparkle of glitter but not too far to where it hurts she's she's a great she's she knows what she's, she's doing pro. she's, she's a pro now. she's been doing it a while that's great um so uh what is it like here in austin as an alien you know, Austin's weird, right? Like, right? So you, 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 I fit it right feels in. Like a good spot. Yeah, I fit right in. I'm almost not weird enough. Yeah. I probably need to up it, up the ante a little bit. You know. Uh, so what what weird thing could you do to up that ante? I don't know. Where do, where do you go? I mean, I don't want to get too weird with you because I don't think this will air. So <laughs> I think if you come to a show, I think you're gonna know what it is I do that's weird. That's fair. You know, I think I think you'll catch it pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, now I think there's this stereotypical perception of what the Austin music scene mm. is. It is the person with the guitar, right? You know, singer songwriter, smoky right. honky tonk, a honky tonk doing their thing. Mm -hmm. um, but the scene is so much more diverse than that. Yes. That I think a lot of people realize. Yeah. Do you see the perception changing at all? I'm forcing it to change. It has to change, right? I've grabbed it up by the collar of the shirt. <laughs> I punched it a few times, slapped it, and now um, it calls me daddy. <laughs> so yeah, the scene's changing, but we've willed it to change, and it makes me very happy. I mean, I'm a testament. I'm here, right? And it didn't, you know. It, it, somebody mentioned earlier, uh, there's people who've really worked for decades to get to the ACL stage, and I really um, annoyingly muscled my way in <laughs> rather quickly. To. And I think that's the, what you have to do, uh, uh, you know, as a as a woman uh, music producer. Right. I've had to do that a lot. And also a lot of people in town, LGBTQIA folks, people of color, we're really, really um, pushing that agenda. So it makes me happy to see such a diverse lineup this year. First came to Austin in 95 and you know, then- Oh, I it, wasn't even born yet. <laughs> I'm old. Uh, the the singer-songwriter thing was definitely there. And then I moved here a year ago and, and the change from then to now, mm -hmm. you know, there is so much more diversity, you know, musically. And I think for the scene to continue to thrive, it needs to embrace everything this city now has to offer yeah when it comes to music without a doubt and it is i mean w this lineup this year is crazy there's so many great local acts to catch and you're going to get a breath of stuff from hip-hop to pop yeah. to uh, and you're still going to get your acoustic singer right. songwriter dudes man you're still going to get it there's but a metal there's band a little, earlier there's a little bit of everything yeah, a little, uh, something else yeah. sprinkled in it's nice <laughs> Um, so when it comes to the visual side of things, yeah, you obviously put a lot of thought into that as well, not just the audio side of mm -hmm. things. So how important is that to you when it comes to the visual of what you're doing? I mean, I think it's important that when you get on stage, depending on what kind of music you make, sure. that you look like a performer. I mean, expression is the name of the game and you don't just express yourself with what you hear, you express yourself with what you see. So. It's not just what I wear, but how I move and how I interact and right. 
and dance and all those kind of things. How I smell, if you will. How I taste. I try to involve all the senses. All of them. But, you know, I don't think I put that much thought into my okay. attire as much as it's just that works. I grab it. I put it on. If I can jump around, get down on my knees, scream, yell, it's then it's then I'm good to go <laughs> sort of thing. Yeah. So you, when, when you're putting music together, then you're not necessarily thinking about the visual that just kind of happens, kind of comes, Well, maybe? I mean, the visual is always there. It's, like, such a part of the creative process. So I think music is so visual. Okay. And so I'm picturing a lot in my head, and it's not necessarily me and what I'm, you know, going to wear or how I look, but, you know, what's the scene that I'm painting sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, that's a huge part of it. But um, I don't know. It kind of just comes, like, second nature, I think. I just... Yeah. It's just... it. When I think when you're yourself and you're authentic to who you are, it's, I, it's less of, like, a calculated move and more of just like a natural um you know selection sure now natural the, selection <laughs> <laughs> the music industry's changed a lot over the last sure. few decades uh there's been a shift from like you know albums you know now it was streaming it seems like singles maybe eps have become mm -hmm. the way a lot of bands or musicians are looking mm -hmm. i mean what are your thoughts i mean is it's like okay i gotta make an album of 12 songs or would you rather just focus on you know something smaller and give people things more often and just kind of always be there you know i don't really think about anything i have to do that's probably one of my biggest downfalls i just kind of do whatever i want though. i just kind of do whatever i want um when a song's ready and i want to put it out i put it out okay um i don't give a lot of notice <laughs> on that <laughs> to some people's you know like chagrin but i i definitely you know um, it, it, there's a there's there's a different way for everyone that works for everyone, yeah. and you know I'm all about. I think albums are great. I don't think they're dead or anything like that. Sure. But I think um, I like to every song that I make is important to me, and I like to give every song its moment. So I think singles are great in in the sense that you know as an independent artist we spend a lot of time, energy, and money trying to get a, just one song done, and so I want every song to have its time to shine. And then maybe at the end you throw you you compile them all into a album or right. an EP or something like that. But yeah, I don't necessarily think like oh it's got it we have to have 10 songs done by this day we've got to get you know I, if it's done and i like it i'm like yeah I'm, I'm putting it out i call space light records i say hey the single's coming out <laughs> and here's the date <laughs> and then we figure it out from there that works um now you mentioned uh, you know producing uh so you right. produce your own stuff yes are you do you work with other artists to produce other things I've worked with other artists for production. Right now, I'm only doing my own stuff, okay. but I'm definitely open to that. Um, and I've recently gone from being a single, a one-woman operation on the production side to having a co-producer, Taylor J. Webb. Okay. And um, we're working on all the new stuff together, and it's been wonderful. He's in the band. He played today on a guitar today with me, and so it's been great. To, that that uh, bond has been really great, and also playing live together. Uh, so what uh, what do you got planned for the rest of the year? I am I just talked to Taylor. I said as soon as ACL is over, we have uh, got some work to do. So oh. we've got about ten to twelve songs that we're working on right now, okay. and um, a really interesting EP plan for early next year. That will nice. be a huge departure from everything I've done before. You're gonna hear that acoustic guitar that no. you love, Austin. Austin's gonna hear the acoustic no. guitar, so, yeah. But don't don't no, worry, no, 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 it'll no. still be, right. it'll be an, an acoustic guitar in a primo, the alien fashion. I love it, fashion. that's great. Yeah. All right, before we're out of here, three quick questions. What was the first, what was the name of the first song you wrote? The first song I ever wrote? Yeah. Oh my God, I have no idea, I started writing, oh no, wait, I do know. We've got attitude, hey, 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 fifth grade. We got attitude. So I would say it was called Attitude. I don't think I titled it. Okay. Um, my untitled first single, yeah. Beautiful. From my made up band in my head called Four of a Kind. And it was a four girl band. You had this all mapped out. Yeah, I was ready. That's impressive. But it's crazy. I made the girl band happen with my, <laughs> uh, my girl band, Kevin. So KVN, look us up. Um, what was the first album you ever bought? Oh, geez. Uh, probably a David Bowie, like a best of David Bowie okay. <laughs> CD or something. It wasn't, I can't say like it was, this, you know, right. but a best of, you know, got yeah. me hooked. You got all of it. Yeah. Uh, what was your first job? I was a hostess at a Mexican restaurant in my hometown. Okay. <laughs> and I was bad hostess. Primo the alien, everybody. Thank you so much Thank for stopping by. Thank you for by. having me. I appreciate, appreciate it. it.